Well, good morning. It's a rainy day in Reunion, and uh, we wanted to go see some of the sites, some of the um, mountain sites, some of the great viewpoints that they have. But uh, it's absolutely rainy. I'll show you in a second. So we're trying to figure out some things we can do that are uh, a little different. So we thought we'd have a, a look in a typical uh, French supermarket. So this is a Carrefour, uh, a huge Carrefour. That's a typical French supermarket. And we're just curious what there is in a big Carrefour on the island of La Réunion in the South Indian Ocean. You can see a view of the sky and the mountains. So let's go into Carrefour and see how the selection differs or is similar to the selection in a regular mainland French Carrefour. But this is in the town of Saint-Pierre. And when you're in town, other than the palm trees and the different vegetation, you know, just in terms of looking at the cars, license plates, road signs and everything, you don't really feel like you're not in France. You do feel like you're basically just in France. It's terribly humid outside and rainy. But other than that, you wouldn't really know. So let's go in and see what we... First thing we found is that the store is closed. It's 10.45 a.m. Uh, and there's this huge uh, grid in front of it. And I just asked the lady and she said it's open at midday. It's Monday and the grocery store is opening at midday. Who has ever heard of that? That is very, very strange. The rest of the mall seems to be open. Anyway, we'll see if we can come back later. Okay, we're back at the Carrefour for another attempt. We tried this morning and it was closed. And uh, we've already been to the other side of the island and back to see uh, Tatamaka. And now the Carrefour is wide open, the car park is full, and we're about to see what the delights of a mega car for. This is a very large supermarket and what the delights of that are on La Réunion and how that would compare to a car for on mainland France. One thing that's different is this mega bulk display section which you don't see. For example, look at this Johnny Walker Red Label Whiskey by the pallet. That's really something. 16 euros, 35 pence for a uh, cents for a uh, bottle. Seems like a good price, actually, if I think about it, compared to the Carrefour um, that we're used to going to. And all of these cleaning products in this tall display, which you could never actually get to it. So it's obviously partly for display purposes that we also have here wine stacked up to the ceiling obviously things that are looks like mostly on special boxes of uh, cartons of beer so this is the stuff by the entry looks looks more like a bulk shopping area than a typical car for got electronics mobile phones computers housewares Baby mattresses, toys. All that stuff is usually available in a regular car for. Uh, it's displayed a little differently, the clothes section. And the stuff of the house, the stuff is, uh, this is a more extensive non-food section than I'm used to seeing. Lots of baby food powdered milk and stuff. Here's the big electronics. Don't see that so much. Large screen televisions over there. Household items and school supplies. And finally, we get to the food area. So here we're in the meat counter. And we have lots of local things local sausages and local meat. Some sort of smoked meat. Trying to get a better look at this smoked meat. Merguez sausages. Package of Merguez sausages for three sixty nine. Seems slightly more expensive. This is a product. Uh, no, that's not the one either. 
never mind. It looked like a product that we are used to buying. Not quite the same thing. The cheese section is very comprehensive and it has a lot of well-known uh, French cheeses and probably many more cheeses than you'd get anywhere else in sort of the tropics, I'm guessing. But obviously they're bringing a lot of cheeses in from mainland France. You don't get anything like this in South Africa, for example. However, these sort of large wheels of cheese, this sort of bulk, there's Appenzeller cheese from Switzerland. The sort of bulk, giant wheels of cheese uh, is not something you see quite so much of. Still more cheese. Cheese from Auvergne. So, uh, Tomet. Alpine cheese. Tom. You don't lack for... Oh, look at all this. Way more. Okay, yeah. So basically, you don't lack for cheese. If you live on La Réunion, you have access to pretty much all of the French of Tête de Mont. Tête de Mont is one of my favorite cheeses in Switzerland. That's a Swiss cheese. Well, they probably also make a French version. The seafood counter is presented a bit differently. And actually, the seafood counter in our car for um, near Nîmes, uh, I would say it's probably even better, which is a little bit ironic, because we are on an island. However, um, they have some amazing looking tuna, albacore tuna right there, and whole fishes. But the things you get in France would be oysters and Shellfish. I'm surprised there are no prawns here. No, no prawns whatsoever. That's interesting. So in the produce section, um, what we don't have as many of is what you'd find in the European supermarket are tomatoes. There just aren't as many. Those are those small tomatoes. They call them petite tomate, and they're from Réunion. These are grown here locally. And uh, large tomatoes are also grown in Réunion, according to the sign. Eight forty-nine a kilo. That's very expensive. 7.95 a kilo. So tomatoes in general, most of this produce is grown in Réunion. The aubergine, the courgette, the tomato. Um, all it says, all of them grown in Réunion. All of them relatively expensive. Um, here's potatoes grown in Réunion. Uh, 3.60 for a kilo. I think that's expensive. Carrots from China. Um, cabbage, courgette, manioc, um, something called little sweet, I guess, oh, sweet potatoes, all of that grown in Réunion. We have lots of apples, those are from South Africa. Uh, these are South African, these green ones, from uh, Granny Smith. And the others are grown in France. Here's Another kind grown in South Africa. Red apples, oranges, or clementines, mandarins. They're from Egypt. We have peaches or nectarines from South Africa. Grapes from South Africa. Oranges from South Africa. Lemons from Egypt and limes from Réunion. We have herbs which look like they're packaged the same way as the ones you buy in France. However, here we have different kinds of tubers and beans, limes, all of this stuff grown in Réunion. So I'm pleased to see that a good amount of the produce is actually grown in Réunion. That's very nice. So it's pretty local. The bakery section is sort of pathetic, I would say. Uh, Okay, here it gets a little bit better. We have a variety of breads and, of course, the ever-present baguette, because we are in France, after all. And if you want Coca-Cola, Lord knows they've got enough of that. Look at that. That's a Coke. It's a Coke town, not a Pepsi town. 
This range of juices, cerries, are South African. So these are the typical boxed juices, which are very tasty actually, which are from South Africa. So they are getting a certain number of things from South Africa, it seems. Here's our local beer, uh, officially called bourbon, uh, but which the locals all call doudou, which is the French way of pronouncing dodo because of a dodo bird. On the label, of course, the dodo bird lived on the neighboring island of, Marta, of, of uh, what's it called, Mauritius. But uh, they seem to have borrowed its uh, iconography for their beer. Now in the beer section, we've got a lot of good Belgian beers, just like you would find in France in Carrefour. Really good, a lot of good Belgian Trappist beers. I see Leffe, I see Duvel. You see Chimay, so you don't want for beer. You can even get bad American beer here. So life is not over. You can get Bud. Um, so beer, plenty of beer. And actually, um, actually the uh, the local beer, the local doo doo beer, which is stacked up high, is very tasty. I would call it a good beer. Uh, Fischer is um, a sort of a German-style beer or Alsatian-style beer from Strasbourg, and that's a very tasty beer. I see that's available here. The wine section is much smaller um, than, even though it's several aisles, it's much smaller than um, what you find in France. Kathy told me already, she says it's, the wines are a little bit more, but not a lot more. Um, which means you can still find bottles of European wine here for three euros, four or five euros, four euros, six euros. So they're obviously getting, so here's a less than five euro bottle of, of red wine, Cote de Roussillon. Um, just in terms of quantity of beer, it's, uh, sorry, wine, far fewer. But here, nonetheless, the sparklings are there. White wines and rosés. Lots of choices for under five euros a bottle. So you can get wasted here economically if that's your game. And we have local rums. So these are the local rums from this island. Chatel is a type of local rum. We have not tried it yet, but they're doing their local rum trade justice by stocking a lot of those. We we'll recognize these brands already, as well as international brands of spirits, the usual ones, and fewer, again, fewer than uh, the aisle here is not as long as the one at a big car for in France. The range of processed meats, hams, and whatever. I recognize uh, most of these brands from being the same ones Carrefour carries in Europe. Uh, some that I don't, but in general, pastas, that's packaged tortellini and what have you, seems normal. But here's some things that you wouldn't see. Some prepared food, chop suey is a big thing here different types of Cantonese, Chinese rice basically. Here we have this rugale, which is a, what I had for lunch yesterday, rugale with sausage, which is just kind of a savory sausage with a, the rugale describes a kind of a tomato-based sort of a curry sauce for want of a better term, just ever so slightly spicy. There's Kathy, she looks tired from shopping already. So it's on sale today, but still. we found the prawns. We didn't see any. I didn't see any fresh prawns whatsoever. The seafood counter is surprisingly small, given not, that we're on an and island. It's, and it's not. Um, the prices aren't any better. Prices right? are not better. But here, finally, we have frozen prawns for next to nothing. Two thirty-nine for a bag of frozen, medium-sized prawns. The yogurts and so on seems like a pretty similar display. Kathy wants me to see something. What do we have? Chunks of tuna. We have a bag of chunks of tuna, 360 grams for $1.99. Fire sale prices on chunks of tuna. And uh, yeah, so 
that's our tour of a reunion car for a supermarket that is a little different but in its basic spirit is the same as a supermarket in France.